So, are you looking for the best WordPress speed optimization plugin for WordPress? If you ever tested many WordPress plugins or methods and failed to speed it up, then you are at the right place. In this video, I will show you live proof of speeding up this unoptimized website. After following this process you will be able to have this performance of your website. So, stay tuned. Before speeding up this website, we will check the web speed first. Copying my website address, then go to GT Metrics and scan. Scan complete. Just remember the page speed score from here. This time we will boost the website page speed with a famous WordPress plugin. Which name is WP Rocket. You can get this plugin from the link given in the description. WP Rocket is a popular caching plugin that helps speed up your website by caching static content, such as images, CSS, and JavaScript files. It also offers other optimization features, such as minification, lazy loading, and database optimization. One of the best features of WP Rocket is its ease of use. Unlike other caching plugins that require technical knowledge to set up, WP Rocket has a simple and user friendly interface. To get this plugin, click on the pricing section. You will see three different plans for it. All features are same but website installation limit. If you have multiple websites, then I prefer to get the infinite plan for unlimited use. One thing I must mention, this plugin offers 14-day money-back guarantee for users. If you see that this plugin don't give expected result for you, then you can claim a money-back guarantee. To get this plugin, click on Buy WP Rocket now. Here, just fill up the form with your payment details. After placing the order you will receive the login details in your mail. I already have a subscription here, I will log in to my existing account. After logging in, you will see this simple interface. Under the Sites, I have one domain added. If you start using the WP Rocket WordPress plugin on a new website, the domain name will be shown here. To download the WP Rocket plugin, click on this button from the left. After downloading the plugin, then go to the website dashboard. Then install and activate the plugin here. You will see a setting button under the plugin name. Also, under the settings menu, WP Rocket is visible. Enter there. You will be shown some unnecessary notices, just remove them. Look, the green signal says the WP Rocket plugin is working well, and the license is connected automatically. To start setting the best WordPress speed optimization plugin, click on the cache setting first. Turn on the mobile cache. It's mandatory for every website if you want to speed up your website. Then another option will be visible, named, Separate Cache for Mobile Devices. Separate Cache is for those WordPress themes which are responsive. If you don't know whether your theme is responsive, then ask your theme developer support team. But, in most cases latest themes are responsive. My theme is responsive, I don't need it. Enable User Cache. It means when the admin user of this website visits the dashboard, he will also see the cached version of this web page. It will make you feel fast when you visit the admin dashboard. Cache lifespan. Set a period here. After that particular time, the cached or saved data will be updated to the latest version. Normally I update or upload my posts daily, that's why setting 24 hours. You can change it by your choice. Now save changes. 
then go to file optimization. This is the most important as well as a critical page to set. First, enable Minify CSS. It will minify all the CSS files on your website. Skip the Combine CSS file section. You just need to enable it when your site uses HTTP2. Most of the shared hosting servers don't have that. That's why I skip it. You can contact your hosting provider for this query. Then enable Optimize CSS Delivery. Here they will show you two different sub-options, just choose, Remove Unused CSS. Then go to the bottom, and press Save Changes. After saving changes, we must check our website. If everything is fine, then we can continue to work. It's fine. Let's go back to WP Rocket settings. Now we will minify JavaScript files. Again, skip combining JavaScript files for the HTTP2 requirement. Then, enable the next two features. Delay JavaScript execution is one kind of lazy load. I prefer to enable. You can disable this feature for some specific files where you don't want it. If your site has Google AdSense and Google Analytics, then mark tick. Right now, this website doesn't have any of them, that's why I am skipping. Then click on Save Changes. Look, removing unused CSS service is processing. Again start checking our website. If you see it is not broken, then we will continue the journey. Seems like it refreshed faster. Also, everything looks perfectly fine. Then go to Media Settings. Enable Lazy Load. It will load your website images late until the visitor comes closer to the image. No need to touch the rest of the page. Just click on Save Changes. Preload. This is a very important section to boost up your website speed. Activate preloading. Actually, when a visitor come and stay at a page then the internal links will automatically preload it. When the users click on other links on your website, then it will load almost instantly. Then enable link preloading. This is similar to the previous one. When a desktop user put the mouse cursor on any URL of your site, it will start loading instantly. Preload fonts. With this option, you can load all the fonts on your site at once. By each time a visitor browses your site and click on another page, the font will not load again. It will use the same font for the previous page used. To find out the font URL, go to GT Metrics. And follow my steps. Here you will see the font link. You can copy the URL of these and paste it to the WP Rocket dashboard box. You can paste one by one. But I think only big sized fonts should be used. Then, save changes. Advanced rules. This is not necessary for us. Just skip. In the database section, you will see some cleanup options here. Like comments cleanup, transition cleanup, etc. Check all comment cleanup options. Also, check all boxes of post cleanup. Transients are when you uninstall any plugin, and some data are saved in your WordPress database. Which are totally unnecessary. By using this option, you can delete those transients from your database. Then scroll down, and set automatic cleanup. I prefer monthly. Then go to CDN. This is not necessary. Under the heartbeat section, just click on the control heartbeat. Then save changes. In add-on, if you use Cloudflare free CDN, then you can integrate this here. You just need to enable it from here. Then, click on Modify Options. We have a dedicated video on WP Rocket. You can check it from that. The rest of the settings are not related to speed up. Just skip it for now.
For the final check, refresh the website. And check some posts. Then go to GT Metrics Website Performance Tester and check your website speed again. Look. Right now the website speed performance is boosted up to 94%. Which is quite fine. But wait. I showed a 100% performance screenshot at the beginning of the video. Well, actually if you scroll down then you will see the speed up suggestion you will see that they recommend using CDN. If you connect a free CDN like Cloudflare, then you will able to get the fastest speed for your website. If you want to know how to set up Cloudflare, then you can watch that video. If you have any questions then feel free to ask in the comment section. If you think you need my assistance, then please comment below. So, if you want to optimize your website for speed, try WP Rocket today.